I think so, it's good practice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's that. Okay. Hi, my name is Iraklis Bruce and this is Lefteris Iroglidis. Uh, he's the designer of the game and will be presenting um, Autocrator to you. Um, it is a medieval themed game. It's a light uh, Euro um, war game uh, hybrid uh, that takes place between the 6th and 11th century um, ID in the Mediterranean basin. Uh, on the map you are able to see the four empires. There are the Byzantine Empire, the Saracens, the Moors and the Holy Roman Empire. And as you can see they, have, they each have their uh, areas um, which are indicated by the shields, the coat of arms. Coats of arms. Uh, each empire has their capital with uh, three coats of arms and uh, they have large cities with two and smaller cities with one. Now, on the map you'll also see, we've prepared the map for you, and you'll have the units. Each empire has the king, each empire has the general, and each empire has the admiral. Um, and each of those units has different strengths and abilities. Um, the admiral obviously moves at, on the seas, and the general is more uh, maneuverable in battle. And the uh, emperor can also do battle, but it's less maneuverable. Um, Right, so um, you'll move on the map and you'll have battles happening uh, <coughs> between the empires. Basically when two units meet, for example, or when two uh, land units, uh, when two, uh, land units uh, meet also. And it is the battle system of this game that uh, is quite interesting. For example, let's assume the um, Byzantines are attacking the Saracens in uh, Sidon. So, you'll have the general of the um, Byzantines, uh, which is here. So, you will take those units which you have allocated during the um, beginning of the round. Uh, the, uh, the card representing the general is face up, and then the two cards are face down out of the eight cards that are uh, set. And then the attacker uh, proposes two different terrains um, to the defender. Basically, according to the strengths that their army has. For example, in this case, the general would probably pick the planes, and they will probably pick an ambush to happen. Uh, and out of those two, the defender picks the one. Um, and then this game is very interesting because um, there is a very comprehensive system where each um, uh, side has a portion of their 50,000 strong army. Uh, to attack uh, the other uh, units. Um, so, for example, in this case, he's battling against the king. Um, the attacker, the defender proposes the two terrains according to how well their units can take advantage of the ground, the field of battle, and then out of those two, the defender picks one. So if the attacker had picked planes and ambush, the um, defender would choose what their highest rating is uh, in that respect. So in ambush they have 4, 2 and 2, so a total of 8, and in plane they have 2, 1 and 5, so a total of 8. So it's the same thing, so they would pick one of those two, They would, let's say they pick the planes. Um, the, the armies must be mixed, by the way, they need to have different units. Um, and then we, the, the battle is actually very simple, yet comprehensive, it combines uh, the, the size of the army and the quality of the army and how well they can use the terrain that they're fighting in. Uh, and Lefteris will talk more about the battle uh, specifically. Uh, for example, uh, the general uh, have some, uh, if have uh, some experience on the battle, we can see it in the track life, that if have four lives, then have uh, one uh, less uh, experience in the battle. So this uh, less experience must indicate with this token in one of his cards. Then his, uh, this card that he chooses strategically uh, have less one uh, battle, uh, battlefield. Uh, um, uh, but a uh, fighting point modifier in this car. Uh, in the example of the king, we see the kings uh, of the generals that have zero, uh, zero fighting points. Okay. So he, he cannot uh, put any modifier on the battle. Mm -hmm. So let's see the resolution of the battle. First, the attacker puts his three cards secretly in any order that he wants. Mm -hmm and put the fighting point, the token fighting point, where he will. This card suffer one point, okay, in the battle. 
and the uh, uh, defender after put his cards face down opposing to the the resolution of the battle is a, is a fight between the opposing cards. The terrain is, for example, the plane. Okay, so we see that in play in a plane we make the resolution of the battle. For example, the cavalry, which works very well on the plane, attacks the infantry, and as is uh, logical, they overtake them and they win this um, this fight. So we move it towards them. That's a point for the Saracens. And we'll repeat that uh, for the other units. So this has minus one on um, the plane, so it's at four, but it's still better than the opposing infantry, so that's a point for them. And then the mercenaries and the archers fight also on the plane, and the archers are also better there. So that's two one so, so far. Uh, of course, the battle resolution is continuous. Uh, we must see the army of Manot, uh, the army of uh, the total of army. The Byzantines have 6,000, 7, uh, 11,000 uh, army. The Saracens have uh, 11 and uh, 14,000. Okay. So this gives a point to the Saracens. The score became 2-2. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the last, uh, in the last uh, stage, we have end the training scale. Uh, Byzantines have three swords. Okay. Two, zero, and one, so three. Yep. And the Saracens have four swords, so the scores became three to... Mm. And the, the Saracens win the battle. the Saracens win the battle, so the general of the, uh, the Byzantines can must remove those back. Goes back, and the king remains in his temple. Mm. If he had been successful, the king would have to uh, retreat, and then the, um, the Byzantine general would s lay siege on Sidon, for example. Mm. And then the, the strategic game is what drives the tactical game. Uh, there's also some diplomacy that you use the money for, the treasury of each uh, country. Um, and conquering other cities gives you more points and uh, money. In the case that the general loses and goes back, then loses a life in the life track with this token and earns extra experience in the next battle. So basically, this is the game. It's played over, over five rounds. It lasts about 90 minutes, um, at a, let's say at a maximum. And uh, it also comes with a mini expansion that adds some units for the neutral units. Because this is how battle happens in the um, areas controlled by each empire. And then there are some neutral units that are uh, uh, resolved with the, these six cards that is controlled by the, play the next player. Um, and the battle system is exactly the same, instead, uh, but there is no uh, units in the, there's no uh, leaders in the base game, uh, but they are added with the expansion. So these are the, they are less strong than the um, professionally trained units of the organized armies. Uh, and before the beginning of every round, we have the historical reference of the game that gives extra uh, orders on the game. And you can, uh, of course, read this and learn it, but the important parts are bolded in the, for the function of the game. And in the back of the rules, there's even more historical background for those interested in it. Are you a teacher? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. No, I'm not. Glad you liked it. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah. What website is it on? Oh, 